Hi, Gary Bernier, Wizard of Digital at Business Growth Guys, a Wizard of Ads partner. And today I'm going to share with you the top three marketing tips to double your business. The first one is do it forever. So the most common question we get asked is, uh, well, when do we stop running the campaign? And the answer is never if it's working. Okay. So most small businesses uh, struggle with marketing because they market number one for too short a time frame. They don't consider their sales cycle when they're doing their marketing and then they do one shot marketing. Well, I'll just send out this one piece of mail. I'll just do this one thing. I'll just go to this one trade show. I'll just do this one thing. And they think that they're going to get a sustained increase in sales and it never happens. They might get a small boost, but it's never the results they're looking for. Marketing Successful marketing is a sustained effort over time. So whether you're doing direct mail, you've got to do direct mail for a long time. Whether it's radio, television, um, even on the internet, you're going to spend... I've, I've been marketing my team building business for over 15 years now the same way. You're going to continue to market, and which means you're probably going to be spending money every month. So. Make sure you look at some of the other videos on how to set up your marketing budget, but you should be between 7 and 10% of sales. And if you want to grow fast, your marketing budget should be 10% of sales. And the majority of that needs to be spent on actually the marketing, not the person doing the marketing, but on the actual marketing of your business. So you want to market continuously for a long period of time. That's tip number one. Tip number two is do more of what's working. So when we start with a customer at the Wizard of Ads and we set them up on radio, we say you have to spend a year before you're really going to see the results. So remember, tip number one, we're going to do this for a long, number, long period of time. Tip number two, do more of what's working. Once we get radio working, we add more radio. That's right. We buy more radio. We keep buying more radio. We don't try different things because the radio is working. It's creating the leads that we need for the business so we expand our reach while maintaining our frequency and that is doing more of what's working. If you're doing direct mail and you're mailing out to 100 people, then what you want to do is you want to mail to 200 people or 500 people. You want to do more of what's working. You don't want to go looking for the next new thing. You want to find something that works, that creates the leads and you want to do more of it. Don't be a quitter. Don't screw up tip number one. And tip number two, once you find out what's working, do more of it until you reach the law of diminishing returns. And you'll know when you've found it because you're spending more money and not getting any more results for doing it. And tip number three sounds really simple, but gets screwed up all the time by small business owners. Repetition over reach. Here's the simple analogy. Are you better off emailing 100 people 10 times or are you better off mailing a thousand people once so in the first scenario 100 people 10 times that's repetition you're hitting those same people 10 times you might actually hit them when they need the product or service that you need so you have a better chance with repetition when you go after the thousand people once if they're not in the mood to buy, if they don't need your service at that point in time, you've wasted a lot of money sending them one piece. And that one piece has to cut through the clutter. So you give yourself a much better chance with repetition over reach, which means doing a lot more of the same thing to the same people. Yes, I know it seems counterintuitive, but trust me, you're much better talking to a hundred people ten times than you are a thousand people once. Once never works. That you're gonna feel like you just blew your money. So those are the three tips for marketing to double your business. Do it forever. This is not a uh, let's do this now and see what happens. This is we're gonna do this and we're gonna continue to do this and we're gonna do it for a long time. Once we know what's working, we're going to do more of what's working. We're going to expand, but we're going to expand by expanding repetition until we've got the necessary repetition figured out, and then we'll expand our reach, right? So we know our law in radio is we want a repetition of three over a period of seven days, and so we can buy more reach and run the math and still make that happen. Television, there's a different calculation. So there's... Um, ways of figuring out how to get 
your repetition over your reach. So those are the three tips that'll double your business and some insights into those mistakes that keep small businesses small. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, put them below and I'll respond to you. Thanks for watching.